Calling me private all day. Not saying anything, breathing on the phone, and then she hangs up. You better put that hoe on a leash. Damn. I'm sorry about that. I'll handle that when I get home. We be having our problems lately. She, a real woman don't have to do all that, even if you are cheap. Child, I just don't know about some of these girls out here today. Now that's how you get your shit cooked. Thanks for letting me know. Some girls out here just don't play them kind of games. See, I'll cut that hoe. What the fuck happened? So, did you and that bitch have a good time tonight? Wait a minute, home girl. Hello, we are on Earth over here. Just put down that bottle of bleach. I know they had my clothes on that goddamn floor. Yeah, you little shit. I know you've been getting numbers and calling bitches in the phone. I saw the numbers in your phone, Andre. Yeah, that don't mean shit. I'm not cheating on you. They're just friends. I can have friends. She told me today that you called her. Damn right I called them bitches. You ain't cheating on me. My ex-boyfriend did, but not your ass. I ain't going through that shit again. First of all, if I was cheating, I would not come on at all. I go to work and come on to you. I have been coming on late because I am trained for this position, you fucking numb nut. Who the hell you calling a numb nut? You ain't calling me all that when I was cooking and cleaning for your ass. I'll run this bitch when you not here. Try and get one of them bitches to do what I do for your ass. You know what? Fuck you. Fuck you and these clothes. Look at her. She let the emotional bipolar stuff kick in. If a woman did my clothes in my place like that, it would take a whole lot for me not to do her like Debo did Red on Friday, you know what I'm saying? But of course, you don't want to get the office of a goddamn law involved, so we don't want to go there. Many women out there in relationships, we need to handle things the non-violent way. I think Andre knows what to do. Let's get back to the show. You don't lost your fucking mind. You know what? We need to end this because you're too damn insecure, jealous and shit. I don't understand why you think I have wrong favorite girls living in my phone. They are just friends and most of them got a man. I don't talk to them on a regular basis anyway. So what does it matter? Because you're just gonna run them when you get mad. I love you, baby, and I don't want you to cheat on me. Where is the trust? Look, come talk to me if you feel that something is wrong. I'm willing to sit down and come up with solutions, but you have to tell me. Don't be going behind my back investigating. They're just going to call me from and shit. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bring my past into our relationship. How can we move forward with our relationship and you keep bringing up the past? I'm not like those other men. You know how to treat me like them. We can move on now. You ain't got nothing to worry about, baby. Andre did the right thing, but I'll be honest with you, if it was me, I would politely defuse the situation and then I would go back to being a single man. A woman only gets one chance to bleach my damn clothes, I would probably get a restraining order too just to be safe. But ladies, let this be a lesson to you about insecurity, lack of trust, and jealousy in relationships. Why are you even with somebody you can't even trust? You don't have to go through your man's phone. All it does is add to the problem. Be calm and go to your man and talk to him like a grown-up. And leave the excess baggage behind because all it does is keep you from moving on. The only person you control in your relationship is you. Think about it, ladies. And now I want y'all to chill until the next episode.